Uh. Have you ever been beat What's to death the... with a bean and cheese burrito, Mario? Not this year. <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't... <laughs> Spring break 2004. It was pretty rough. <laughs> Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hit the bell! Hit the bell! What's the definition of insanity? Being insane, according to Mike Schoep on Double Nickel Zero. Psych, I, psych mo definitely yeah, psych mo says the but, definition of insanity is being insane. Oh, well, I'm glad I, I go to him for Webster's. Um, no, I'm talking about doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. You keep... <laughs> Dave will still employ don't expect his <laughs> completion percentage to go over 50%. Even though he gave him short intermediate passes today to complete, they were nice, easy, short intermediate. He had some ropes today, and um, I think it's a pretty safe bet. Any rookie coming into the league, you could probably bank on five passes that he has to throw away because he doesn't know where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Or they covered it or whatever this and that. I am more – I'm happier – because you could think of it in retrospect, the fact that his completion percentage was better today because he threw like five away. Yeah. Whereas in the previous three games, those were going to be five runs that he had. Yeah. So I'm happier actually about that because it's the learning curve. And he was, he was able to get a win out of it. So it's a positive, it's positive moving forward. Albeit, um, it's what it, he's, he's, he's still growing. Albeit very slowly, he's growing as a quarterback. So, if the Bills lose this game, does the narrative change that Josh Allen didn't do enough to win today because he threw those passes? Well? I wasn't going to have that narrative at all anyway. No, I'm just curious. Is that, he is that the narrative that comes out? Like, Josh Allen threw, threw away five balls that he typically would have run. <sighs> Josh Allen's rushing statistics weren't weren't all, weren't all anything today No, compared to what he's done the last three games. So, does the narrative change that Josh Allen didn't do enough to win today? I think it's the part. I, I think it's part of growth. I think it's right. part of his growth. Okay. I don't think wins and losses matter at this point. No, I'm I'm with you 100. percent Okay. Yeah, I'm with you 100. percent I'm just asking the question. Oh yeah, that's fine. It's, it's going to get asked. Is if he didn't win today, were, were people going to start examining Josh Allen's play today and be like, hey, why didn't he run more? I, I yeah. understand that. He I looked confused. Uh, no. I, well, I think a lot of people see throwing the ball away as an admission of fault. Right? You're throwing it away because something went wrong and you couldn't figure it out. Right? That's a, some people may see that. I don't see balls thrown away in that vein. I personally, when I have a first round quarterback who's still learning the ropes in the NFL, I'd rather you throw the ball away. Like, I'd I don't want you, just, you to take a hit. I don't want exactly. you to Exactly. I'd rather you just I'd rather you just get rid of the ball. Um, because Josh Allen's been so active with his feet the last three games, I'm thrilled to see him start throwing some of these balls away. Um you know, that, that could have been that could have been the mindset going into the game where hey Josh, listen, but we're four and nine. We're playing a five and eight team. They're coming in here. They got a hot offense. We think we can move the ball pretty well against their defense. We need you to stay in the pocket. We're gonna give you. A, we're gonna chip with the tight ends. We're gonna chip with the fullback. We're gonna do a bunch of this other stuff. We want you to try to stay in the pocket. If you don't like it, don't run. Just throw it away. Yeah. If he held to that narrative, uh -huh. being as instinctive as he is playing the game, I'm pretty proud of him as far as his growth. But. Um, if they would have lost it, like that's the thing. What my mindset going into is like, I don't. I, my mindset isn't, oh, do we win? Do we lose? And right. I'm gonna blame that on Allen. I know I tend to blame Dable all the time. Yeah. However, I don't see. I see him from his decision making from three weeks ago till now, so much better, so much better. He looked like he knew what he was doing today. Yeah. And sometimes that's all you need is the illusion that you know what you're doing. Well, and his completion percentage wasn't helped by Zay Jones either. Oh, no, you know? no. So he I gave his his receivers a chance to catch the ball. Now there were some that were just, oh my god, what the heck? I've been doing decline a little bit more. Did you tell me? <laughs> That's funny. I know you know you have dad bod. When I try to reach my arm across your chest, I end up down by your midsection. I can feel your nipple down by your belly button. When everything starts moving south. Yeah, dad bod. You couldn't even reach over my shoulder. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> what I 
I think his growth would be better if he had a different OC? Yes. Would I think the growth would be better if he had a better line and better receivers? Same thing. You know what I mean? You could say six one, half dozen the other. Mm-hmm. He's not running the ball as much. He's he's scanning the field a little bit more. I saw passes go to the left. I saw passes over the middle. I saw passes to the right. I saw him trying to work all phases of the field. High, medium, low, and then right to left. So it's seeing him do all that stuff. Now, 13 to 20. That's why people who just are, are, are the stat mongers don't know anything about the game. And that's all they concentrate on. Oh, wait, he was 50% again. Allen's a bum. He only completed 13 passes. I understand that. Within the construct of the game, the way things worked out, that's that's how the game ended up playing out. Now, would you have put the blame on Allen if he was 20 of 26 and lost? No. No. Like those five, those five. let's just say those five he threw away. If he was 18 of 26 and they lost, do you, do you say, oh, my God, he's got to complete 20? Or he's, no. 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 Not not given the scope of what he had accomplished. 18 of 26 is a good day. He's been at, he's been at 50% the whole season. Yeah. Right? Today was a different 50%, though. Because you're right, you had five balls that were thrown away from my count. That's I may be wrong about that. It may have been four, it may have been six. But I thought five as well. Um, when you asked me, that's the number that I thought you and I both thought. I think it was like five, yeah. Yeah, I think it was five. If it's more, um, I'd be more impressed. Well, that's what I mean. Zay dropped two, right? Wow. Uh, Deontay Thompson got his hands on one and didn't come down with it. Um, but I do put that one on Allen because Allen was running to the left and threw a bullet to, to Deontay in it. And they dove for it. It is. So you're telling me he was 13 of 19? Yeah. Without, I mean, like, drop, that's just, that's just drops. removing Zay's drops. You dropped two. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did. Um, yeah, so 13 of 19. That's enough. For what you're expecting of a rookie quarterback, that's enough to win. That's 65%. It's over 65%. Right. That's what I mean. You know? So that's And that's fine. So. Counter question. Sure. Allen tried to stay within the construct of the pocket and, and beat Detroit with his arm today, right? Mm-hmm. Did that give Detroit problems? Because they expected him to run. They, to run. Did they? Did that open up more windows for him in the passing game? I don't know. You rush three, drop eight. There's not many windows. Okay. So the five linemen were able to handle. Well, drop seven because you know you had a spy. So, okay, we'll bait him to run. He's not going to get very far. When he did, that middle linebacker came flying. Yeah. It's, he had no – when he decided to go, See, the way there that, was nowhere to go. The way that it works is if he drops straight back and he, he has receivers in his routes and they drop seven and they got the spy there, he's got to find a way because he's not doing it yet with his eyes. He's not moving the safety or doing any no. of that stuff. Well, he, not all the time. He's done it once or twice. He's got to move the safety with his eyes. The other thing is this. The other way to shift the zones is to roll. So that's when he, he draws back, he looks, he looks, he looks, then he starts rolling and starts shifting the zones. But the thing about Allen that's so interesting is that even if he rolls right, that backside corner can't, he has to maintain integrity because yeah. if he starts like shading to the middle of the field, if there's somebody that leaks out, Allen can get it there. Yeah, so he I can think go across the field. Patricia knows that. Right. And Patricia definitely coached that up. Mm-hmm. So that being said, that's why a lot of times you saw Allen with a lot of time and didn't throw it. But then would roll to try to see if he can get some of them lanes open, and then would just throw it off. Right. So, like I said, the growth and the maturity of him, I think, is coming along really well. And I know I'm going to sound hypocritical because you're saying, oh, Allen is growing and learning, yet you're not giving Dable any credit for that. Well, I, I've, I've known Cully work with a lot of quarterbacks. David Cully worked with a lot of quarterbacks and who developed and grew. So, um, I tend to give him more he's more directly with Allen. I saw more Josh Allen, the quarterback today, than yeah. Josh Allen, the playmaker, right? And I Human and highlight I, film. Yeah, and I get the Bills only scored 14 points, right? And the one thing that concerns me most about Allen, right, was he was trying to do everything with his legs, right? And today we, we didn't see that, right? He was trying to do things with... You know, manipulating the pocket and trying to buy himself some time and, and making plays with his arm. Thrilled to see that. The the one thing that I still want to see from him is in that script, it being scripted, and this is out of his control, it being scripted to move the safety. We used to see that with Tyron. For the first 10 plays, 
there would always be Tyrod would be looking this way because he'd know that the safety would shift and there'd be a guy on uh, you know on a post on the other side. Mm -hmm. We would see that in the script, right? We don't see that with the script with Allen, and that would be something that I would think you would work in right now. Work that habit of here. Let me move this, and now let me hit this guy that's wide yeah. open. Yeah, and yeah. we don't see that with the script. So that tells me one of one of two things: either Dable isn't calling him, or Allen. It's such a foreign concept to him that he's struggling to hit those passes. The guy was in a pro style. He's got to think about moving the safety. I get, I get that that's a responsibility of a pro style QB, but go back and watch his film in college. He wasn't doing it then either. Uh, so. But, You're right. that, but that's that's the thing that gets me a little bit. If I'm looking at development, today was a great step forward. It wasn't very exciting, right? No. But the, today was a good step forward. Where I thought last game was kind of like a sidestep. I didn't really see a lot of growth opportunity. Today I saw growth because he really tried to do things with his arm. However, in order to be a successful quarterback, you have to manipulate the play to get guys open. You can't do that solely with your feet. Mm -hmm. Allen has done it with his feet recently. And today... Um, we saw him try and buy time and, and get things done in the pocket and then and then move um, to throw. He moved to throw today. He didn't move to run. He moved to throw. However, I'm still not seeing him manipulate the secondary the way that I want to see, even on the scripted plays, the plays that they go over 100 times in practice. Mm -hmm. We're still not seeing it. So that tells me, one, he can't do it, or two, Dable just doesn't, doesn't put that on his plate. Either one is a problem. If either one of those is true, it's a problem. When they had the close-ups of Allen, and he coming up to the line, you could tell clearly, and unless he's trying to be an actor, you could tell clearly when it's run versus when it's pass. Why? You could, the Allen come up to the line, he'll yell alert or he'll do something. He's completely straight, boom. Calls the cadence, run play. He's like, he's like looking behind couches and under rugs when it's a pass play. He's going, before he's coming up to the line, wait, 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 trying so, to get a pre snap. So that's interesting. So let, let me let me make sure I understand you correctly. So your point is is that the Bills' run game could be suffering because it's telegraphed when it's run, and is that? I, I mean, the, the I saw it today. Do seem obvious, I saw right? that today. The and Bills' it, it offense was... is predictable. I think we could all agree oh, yeah. as Bills that's, fans that the offense that, is predictable. But yeah. is that one of the reasons that they're predictable? Is we be. can tell, we could tell right away whether it's a run or a pass play just by body weight. One of the habits that he could have developed when he was at Wyoming was that he was didn't have a run game, got annoyed when the run got called, mm -hmm. and we just go, all right, break, let's go, we're running the well, ball. I mean, we're running the ball. He comes up to the line now, just doesn't doesn't even. Identify the mic, doesn't do this, doesn't look, doesn't point, doesn't start talking to his, you know, doesn't, he just doesn't comes play up, the part. he comes up, calls the play, and hands it off. When he's passing, he comes up, he's looking by the lineman to see where the guy pressure might come, he's talking to his receivers, he's, I mean, I would be coming up to the line if I was, if it was a run play to the left, I'd be coming up talking to McKenzie and pointing out Glover Quinn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, they're 23, 23, you got, okay. And I'd pitch it this way. <laughs> Play the cat and mouse game, man. So, follow question. Oh boy. Allen's been Allen's been gassed the last couple days or last couple games yes. because he's been asked to run so much. Yes. Do you think that's a byproduct of the fact that he's just happy somebody else has to do something besides him? <laughs> right. No, I mean, really think about it. He's run for 300 yards the last three games. At some point, from a body language standpoint, he's gonna be like, "Oh, all right, good, thank God." I just hope. Right? I just hope the passes that he completed downfield today gave him. Oh, you mean I have two options of either throwing a 20-yard pass or running at 20 yards? I'm a lot less tired when I throw it. <laughs> Let me do that from now on. Well, the pass to Foster was gorgeous. It was a gorgeous pass, right? Kudos to Foster on that route because it was a beautiful route. But there were times today where you still saw Allen. And when Allen's on the run, he waits to the last possible second to let go of the ball. Yeah. You know, he really does. Because he's he's so he's got it in his mind that he has all this time because he's got the arm to get it there in, in 0.4 seconds, you know? And he's got a he's got a quick release. Like there's a lot of great things about what Josh Allen, Josh Allen the quarterback can do. But he's not seeing those windows yet. You know, and, and 
He's not. I. No, he is not. You don't want to call. You don't want to say that he's not managing the game well, right? Because there's not much for him to manage right now. He's just got to, you know, call the plays and you know keep the ship afloat and make sure the play gets off as it's supposed to. But um, today was a, you know, the game against the the, the Lions today was a growth game for him. Very much so. So I agree with you. When you look at Allen, right? moving forward what's something that you expect from him next game after what you saw today because today was a big change Lion, the Lions game was a big change what do you expect to see from him next game confusion playing the Patriots um, no that's a good I, point though yeah I would say so, you, so you're saying I don't, uh, don't want to put words in your mouth but don't expect a gigantic leap in the game. Well, I think against the Patriots. I think if they go into it where there were five and nine, we're playing the Patriots. They're going to the playoffs. This is a division rival that we're going to have to defeat down the line with this kid. Let's see. I would call plays that he was both comfortable with and not comfortable with, and see how he reacts to both of them. Because mm-hmm. the wins and losses don't matter right now. You're just trying to grow this kid and see. These are the. These are the top five defensive fronts, top five coverages that they do. This is everything that they try to accomplish. Here's the offensive game plan that we're going to try to do because more than likely the offense of the Patriots may change, which Allen's not concerned about anyway. But the defense is going to remain the same as long as Belichick is there. Mm-hmm. doesn't matter who's calling the defensive coordinators. Um, so he could look at it one way and say, listen, there's a lot of things um, that Belichick likes to do. This is what he did in the first matchup against us, mm-hmm. albeit he may not do the same thing against you. Or you could say, this is a disciple that you just beat of Belichick. So you may see a lot of the similar things, but with better athletes. So be very careful what you do. Don't you think Dable would be an advantage there? Was he advantage the first game? The defense kept him in the last game. It was like 3 yeah. nothing at the half. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think it was more of an advantage for Belichick knowing what Dable does. Well, that's that's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, Dable was there, and he was a tight ends coach. Really, who's got a coach, Gronk? <laughs> Does he really need a coach? Yeah. Nice. No, He's a chaperone, not yeah. a coach. 